The sudden deletion of sensitive data from the government cloud related to the NMRA concerning the registration of medicine and medical equipment during the height of the pandemic raised many concerns in recent times. A debate ensued in Parliament yesterday in that regard. The data scam has been swept under the rug similar to other scams. First, they blamed us. Now, not a word is uttered. There are no online systems now. They have faced many difficulties doing all of it manually. Both the chairman are outsiders. They do not have a clue of what is going on. They reach out to amateur pharmacists for advice. A court case is ongoing. The CID conducted a probe to ascertain whether the deleted documents were supporting documents, real data or scanned documents. As far as I know, permission was granted only yesterday to obtain the initial data. They had only gotten together with a US firm yesterday to recover the initial data. Supporting documents have very evidently been deleted. The documents in the backup have been deleted too. What were the contents of the documents that were deleted? Were there any important details in those? How many corporations benefited from it? Were certain corporations ill-affected by it? This is a serious matter. The deletion of data from the NMRA's cloud too has in some ways contributed to the shortage of medicine in the country similar to that of the forex crisis. The Minister of Health has not presented proper details to the people on that as of yet. Probes into it are ongoing and the recovery has begun, like you correctly mentioned. If there has been a scam, I will responsibly state as the Minister of Digital Technology that the law will be enacted. It could not have happened because the relevant institution heads and company heads are bonded in writing to ensure that such a thing does not occur. If any person has neglected his duties, we will enact the law. Steps are in place to recover the data as we speak. It has been over a year. It happened on the 5th of August last year. But the recovery commenced only yesterday. The people keep questioning the series of incidents while the government has a responsibility to rectify the matter. July 23rd, 2021, CID receives a complaint for the first time regarding data of the NMRA being wiped from the Lanka government cloud that holds sensitive information on land deeds, bank details, criminal case records, court records and many other important information. The incident took place against a backdrop where the process of granting approval to medicine and medical equipment was being digitized. 3rd October 2021 Special team appointed to recover the data of the NMRA that was wiped from the Lanka government cloud. 6th October 2021 Medical suppliers have taken undue advantage from the COVID-19 pandemic. Senior Deputy Solicitor General Dilipa Pires makes a submission before the Colombo Chief Magistrate's Court. Manager of the data system at the company handling the Lanka government cloud had erased the data of the NMRA for seven hours. Statements made highlighting this incident is an organized crime and all those involved must be brought before the law and a broad investigation must be launched into it. The data wipe was not a mistake. It was a deliberate act. Revelations made in court when employees of the company handling the data system were produced in court. 13th October 2021 five-member committee that investigated the activities of the NMRA reveals a string of corruption and irregularities at the NMRA. It is imperative that information in the possession of the NMRA is kept safe to ensure that the organization functions efficiently. Losing such sensitive information will jeopardize the very basic functions of the NMRA in regulating the medicinal drugs that are imported into the country and granting approval for new drugs to be brought down. Who benefited from the data wipe of the NMRA? What happened to the investigations? For your attention.